my title. And coming up next, we have Andrew Bowie, 28 years of age, under 65 kilos from Star FC Gym, under coach Chris, Chris Nini. And on the other side, we have the Combat Jiu Jitsu 65 kilo champion, Victor Gentilella, 33 years of age, under 65 kilos from East Side Jiu Jitsu, under coach Raf Kosminski. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your main event of the evening, sponsored by Feet Forward. Introducing first, in the blue corner, the challenger, he is 28 years old, fighting out of Sa Fighting Chick Fighting Club, under coach Chris Nini, weighing in at 63.7 kilos. Please welcome Andrew. Time for our main event. Making his way to the cage, we have 28 years of age, fighting out of Saar FC, under coach Chris Nini, weighing in at 63.7 kilos. Please welcome Andrew Bowie. Now I spoke to Andrew yesterday. He's super excited to main event such an amazing card. He's fighting for the championship but he has no easy task ahead of him with Victor Gentilella on the other side. And his opponent in the red corner. He is 33 years old, fighting out of Eastside Jiu-Jitsu under coach Raf Kosminski, weighing in at 64.7 kilos. Please welcome the current reigning defending champion, Victor Gentilella. It is main event time. Under 65 kilo combat jiu-jitsu championship is on the line with Andrew Bowie versus Victor Gentilella. And the action has already started. Oh, absolutely. Victor straight away bullying his way inside. He's got a front headlock. Oh, this is a deep guillotine. This is, oh, look at oh, Bowie wow. just literally break his neck to get out of that one. But Gentilella on the strike straight away. He's like a wet blanket that just loves to smack you in the face. Yes, for sure. And look at this Bowie straight to his feet. Look at that. He just stood up off his back. Gentilella's got that shoulder clear. There's a triangle opportunity. He's going to try and reach up and grab that left shin with his right hand. You'll see his right foot go on the hip and try and break that angle. Oh, there's the slam. Wow. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. But that combat. woke up Victor, that pissed Victor off. He's ready to give it back to him. This is combat jiu-jitsu. Slams are allowed out of submissions. Gentilella, father of two and a self-touted violent mother. <laughs> Absolutely. He really brings the pace, he brings the heat, and he loves to fight. Oh, he's hungry. Oh, right in front of us, landing some heavy shots. Andrew Bowie is bringing the pressure, though. He's got his leg up. He's looking for the takedown, trying to get it to the mat. He's got that front headlock again. Gentilella drag him straight down to the mat, yes, with that front headlock. Bowie's got to be so careful. He's got a tight guillotine. Ten-finger guillotine, maybe. Absolutely. He's going to bring him up against the fence. He's going to use it, lean on him, try and choke him. Bowie got stuck in it the first time. He kind of got stuck into it again. But he's on the hands now, so let's see what Gentilella does. He'll probably end up going to the back. But he's so close to the fence. There he goes. He pulls him away. Here he goes. He's going to transition to the back. Look at Bowie, so smart, getting to his feet. But here's the Das locked in. Actually, it's an Anaconda locked in on that side. He's going to roll to that side. He's going to flip Bowie. Here he goes. It's early in the fight, too. So this is super, super on. Look at Bowie with that control on that single leg on that right-hand side, saving his life right now. But now he's lost. Oh, this is dangerous. Victor's going to try and roll him over and finish him. You can pull guard from this position, too, George, and finish it. This is a nasty choke. This is the Anaconda. Is the anaconda choke. He's cinching it more and more as his seconds pass. He's re he's waiting for the right time to turn and spin. Here he goes. He's not rushing it at all. It's just Bowie's doing the right thing, flaring that left elbow out to try to defend it, but there goes that elbow. He's lost that post. Oh, he's got that arm triangle position. Oh, he's trying to turn him over backwards. He's let it go. Interesting. 
That's fascinating to me. We've seen that a few times tonight. It's very, very interesting. Maybe they feel like they're gassing their arms out and they're thinking, oh, I better let this go. I might have nothing left, you know? That's right. Maybe it's just an executive decision, you know? That's right. Both back on their feet now. Bowie pressing Victor right in front of us here against the cage. Victor reversing it. Now he's got Bowie up against the cage. Andrew Bowie's defense has been so good. Yeah. I mean, Gentilello is just coming at him like with all guns blazing. And we saw that in Bowie's last fight where the, the takedown pressure was on and he just sprawls and just deals with it so well. He does, doesn't he? His defense is just on point and he was going to need every ounce of it tonight. And it's really paying dividends right now. 346 left, Chris. And Victor, I went and trained with him a little bit over at Eastside, and they were doing so much wall work, which we're seeing come out into work now. Victor's done the right thing, brought it to his corner. He's got Raph there, he's got the team from Eastside BJJ in his corner, telling him instructions, helping him out. Both still very quiet, they're both composed still. Yeah, Victor's still pressing forward. Pressing. He looks the fresher out of the two. I mean, Bowie's had to withstand all of these attacks. He's another front headlock attack. I mean, how often should we be practicing front headlock live drills, boys? Every freaking day, right? Yes. There you go. That's why. Every day, this is what we're looking at. Every single day. Look at this. Heavy, heavy hips. We're trying to sit through, yeah, trying, trying to... Sat out there. Look at that. Bowie trying everything to get him off him. You got Victor just swinging heavy on that head right now. He's, gonna look. He's got that chin strap. He's got both hands around the neck. Looking for that guillotine again. Bowie's just relentless at getting back to his feet. His defense has been amazing. And let me tell you, this could be frustrating Victor a little bit too. Because after a certain amount of time, you've got to start to think to yourself, hang on a second, what do I have to do to get this kid out of here, you know? That, he might have to change right. position. He might have to go to the back, but he's not. He's just hanging on that front headlock all night long. One thing we haven't seen much of yet are the slaps. Actually, as we say that, we get one. But we want to see some more violence. And here we go, Victor. Go. He's going to start raining down those slaps. And we see, we've seen Victor do this in his last fight. Absolutely. When he can't open up the position purely from jiu-jitsu, he starts to open up the striking and start to wear his opponent down and look for finishing opportunities. Let's see how he goes. Oh, heavy body shot. Here we go. Bowie trying to get full guard, but look at that. Head stuck against the fence. This is the biggest problem with guard players. If they try and, you know, recover their guard up against the fence, they've got to try and bail and stand up. We saw, we saw Terence Tedewar do that successfully to a certain point against Maruki in the earlier fights, but he's not been able to find his way back to his feet, and this is exhausting, I've got to say. Testament to, um, um, you know, his tenacity and his fitness. I mean, Bowie's just come conditioned, prepared, because he hasn't stopped moving, and he's been under relentless attack and pressure. Yeah, and being under that, where, where all of Gentilella's weight is pretty much on you and trying to stand up is tiring and Bowie's doing a great job of keeping Bowie doing an awesome job two on one look okay now this is where I want to see him trying to push away and stand up because trying to fight off your back here is just not a good idea up against the fence you're just stuck and then you see Gentilella working on his posture making space to rain down Bowie throwing up an arm, an arm bar. Look at that. Wow. Insane. Here we oh. go. That one came down hard and heavy. Oh, that was a wow. big shot. Gentilella on the rampage. Got to control the posture. He's here. not just throwing his arms. He's throwing his whole body behind each slap. And that makes it very, very hard to control. And break. Here we go. Bowie's got that guard. See, the guard is very offensive. We've seen some guard finishes tonight. And they're so, so, so good and practical. But look, right now, up against the fence, it's just tough. You've got to try and get back to your feet. With only 30 seconds left, let's see what... 30 Gentilella seconds, will ladies do. and let's gentlemen! Let's see what Bowie will do to finish the match. Oh, Gentilella bringing the fire. You're going to have to take the strap off him. He ain't going to give it up easy. Here we go. Final 10 seconds. Oh, wow. heavy shot to finish. Let's give it and up for these two one warriors, eight, ladies and gentlemen. Ben. Victor Gentilella finishing up on top, raining down slaps on Bowie. Mate, how tough is Bowie? Andrew Bowie is one of the toughest dudes I've like ever seen. He, he, he put her in a great clinic in terms of smacking, preventing a takedown and keeping himself in a fight. Unbelievable.
unbelievable. Congratulations to both boys. Obviously, you know, Gentilella doing such an exceptional job here. Let's check out that first high-risk guillotine. He looked locked in. We thought it was only he had to snap his neck to try to get out of it. That's how much this title means to these boys. Then we had here, we had Gentilella falling off, ending up on his back. Looked like he was trying to throw a submission out there if he could. Had that triangle catch, but then how he got out of it. Beautiful slam. That woke Gentilella up though. He, he slapped straight away off the slam, which is impressive. As you're getting slammed, your brain is going to think, I want to slap him. And the theme of today was that front headlock. Yeah. He just had that relentless pressure, dragging him out off the cage, getting him back down to turtle again. Here we see some of the slaps, we see some more of the action. He had him up against the cage. He postured. Bowie couldn't reach him. Gentilella could reach Bowie. My money's on uh, Victor for this match. I, I think so. As Frank said before, if you're going to take, you have to go in there and take it off the chain. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight has gone to the referee scorecard for a unanimous decision. And still, Fusion Fighting Champion, Victor! Congratulations, Victor. That was amazing. All right, I'm here with your under 65 defending champion. Congratulations, Victor. Mate, you set such a pace from the very first. But I've got to tell you, hey, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Andrew Bowie. I mean, come on. How tough is that kid? He did not give up once. His, his escape ability and defense was on point tonight. Man, did you feel you got pushed tonight? Oh, uh, mate, <laughs> he's a warrior. Everyone put it together for him. Oh, absolutely. I'm gas. <laughs> All right, you set, okay, let's get down to business. You set an incredible pace. Was that your plan against Andrew? Because, you know, you don't have to look too far to see his last fight. I mean, incredible defense. Able to stuff the, the, the shot and the takedown so well. I'll give you a head start, boys. You will need to work on your cardio because mine's better than everyone's. Also, I'm still waiting for Eddie Bravo to call. Give me anyone in the world. I'll be anyone in the world. He might be just watching, brother. He might just be watching. So where to from here, Victor? You're a defending champion at under 65. What, what's next for you? Uh, your boy Aiden looked good. So that's a good defense. And also, that 70 kilo needs a new champion. It's a vacant belt, and I'm your man. Wow, that's awesome. Maybe we see a... Uh, uh, an interesting match next time you're on. Hey, listen, anytime you're on the mat, it's a great time, man. You always bring the fire. Congratulations, that's an awesome performance. Put your hands together for your reigning defending champion under 65 kilos, Victor Gentilala. That's a wrap, brother. What a main event, Victor Gentilella walking out. The Fusion Fighting Championship champion, Eastside BJJ walking out with the title.